Hello, I'm Dr. Dina Stacer and welcome to a quick video about turning your San Diego condo balcony into paradise. I'm a real estate agent with a PhD in psychology. I help families when they buy and sell a home in San Diego. I love educating families on important real estate information they should know when they're preparing to buy or sell a home. I also love getting families through the sale with the least amount of stress, frustration, and anxiety. In this video, we will talk about several great ideas to make a balcony feel a little bit like heaven or a private getaway space. So let's get started with turning your San Diego condo balcony into paradise. I'm Dr. Dina, the doctor that makes house calls. A balcony garden can provide privacy. Condo living does not usually offer much privacy. You either have an adjoining building that looks directly into your balcony or you are on the street level and people can see right into your home. By creating a mini garden or a unique retreat on your balcony, you will establish a little bit more privacy. To start, add tall, dense plants as dividers to keep peering eyes from looking in. Or use lattice or some other type of fencing like wooden slats, a metal grate, large umbrellas, or a shade cloth to create that divider. Add climbing plants to the fence and eventually they will grow over the dividers giving you a colorful secluded space. You can find unique divider ideas on Pinterest. Buy unique items at garage sales, swap meets, and on Craigslist. Used end tables, nightstands, drawers, and shelving units can decorate your space. Stack them, creating different levels of plants. Repurposing furniture costs less and makes your space unique, while sparking great conversations with friends. Gardens can expand your well-being. You can decorate a small balcony space with just about any type of small furniture, and you can add plants. Whether it's a succulent garden that requires little care or an herb garden that yields favorite flavors for your meals all year long, you can make a small space lovely and more productive. Plants add warmth to a home. They add oxygen and color. They add energy and bring in a sense of well-being by taking away the sterility of an empty or too small balcony. Plants in unique containers or pots also create a focal point that makes it fun to look at and enjoy. Your decorations are determined by the sun or the shade you get. When creating your balcony paradise, figure out how much sun the balcony or garden area gets every day. Does the sun shine on the area most of the day, half of the day, or is it mostly shaded from sun? Do you get morning or afternoon sun? Shady spots can be challenging if you want to grow an edible garden. Ask your local nursery expert to tell you the best type of shaded plants to grow to eat. The following salad greens grow in the shade. Leaf lettuce, arugula, endive, and cress. Other plants include broccoli, cauliflower, peas, beets, Brussels sprouts, radishes, and Swiss chard. Hydrangeas and azaleas are perfect flowers that are colorful and pretty. Vertical gardening yields food for your table. You might have an urge to become an urban gardener and micro grow a small crop of vegetables or fruit trees. Vertical gardening is one of the biggest trends in gardening today and you can have a great place to do it from your balcony. If you don't want to go vertical, you can use grow bags which come in all sizes. The deeper bags accommodate a hefty potato crop. Peppers and bush beans take up very little space. Cucumbers, tomatoes, and squash can be grown upright. Miniature fruit trees grow in containers and are perfect for a small patio. Dwarf varieties include blueberries, lemons, limes, and mandarins. Window boxes and unique containers add charm to your balcony. You can cultivate edibles with window boxes positioned in the sun. You can grow nourishing, delicious, and beautiful food in your limited space. Two feet long window boxes are big enough to grow all sorts of herbs like oregano, basil, chives, and rosemary. Unique containers can add an artsy touch. 
Space may be limited, but enthusiasm doesn't have to be. Make your balcony your own private retreat. If you do not have a green thumb or you do not want to start a garden with fruit trees or vegetables, you can turn your balcony into your own private retreat. Add a small chair and table, or repurpose furniture or wooden boxes to create the look you want. Add a small trunk or a painted nightstand as a table. Add a small electric or battery operated fountain, add a trellis or tall slats, and cover them with lights and ferns. Need to create some shade? Add a shade structure overhead by draping material across the area with four poles or lamps or secured hooks from the wall and the trellis to create your own shabby chic shade. You can enjoy your balcony all year by adding an outdoor heater and lights to entertain or escape to your sanctuary whenever you want. Would you rather sell your condo to buy a yard? You may eventually decide to sell your condo in order to buy more space in the yard. When you are ready, I will be happy to chat with you about your real estate options. I am happy to answer all of your questions about selling your condo and moving. We can discuss the cost of sale, condo preparation, and what to do to make the most money. I will also help you to find the home you want. I can refer you to professionals to help you with condo preparations and the move. You will never experience any pressure or feel obligated to use my services. I know you are in the information gathering stage and it takes time to decide to move forward with a sale and purchase. So I'll guide you through those stages when you're ready. If you found this information helpful and you're interested in selling your condo, here are some additional resources. Check out more valuable videos by going to YouTube and typing in the magnifying glass search window, Dr. Dina Realtor. My channel will come up. Now type in these five videos to watch or watch others of interest to you. Tips to make smaller rooms larger when you sell your home in San Diego. Six tips to sell your San Diego home for more money. Put more profit in your pocket with mirrors when you sell your home. Upgrade your San Diego bathroom on a shoestring budget. The four stressful phases of selling your home. Here are three resource web pages that offer articles, videos, and links to educate you about the sale of your home and a move. Sell your home for more profit.com, four stressful phases of selling your home.com, and baby boomer real estate tips.com. If you want downloadable ebooks about other real estate topics, simply email me at docadinastacer.com for the list of ebooks and I will send you the links to these books. You can search for San Diego Homes online to buy at san diego searchforhomes.com. You can get your free home value report on the value of your home by going to valuemyhomenow.com. I love answering your real estate questions. Email me or call me at doc at dinastacer.com or 858-229-8072. Or you can send me a message on Facebook at facebook.com Dr. Dina Realtor. Let me help you sell your condo. I've successfully worked with families from all walks of life who've hired me to sell their home. I've worked with families going through lifestyle transitions such as divorce, the death of a loved one, relocating, and downsizing due to aging or the loss of income. All of these people loved my help when they sold their home. I offer you my compassion, real estate expertise, and valuable strategies to make sure your sale and purchase have less stress and hassle. I will guide you every step of the way through each phase of the sale. If you or a family member need assistance selling a home in San Diego, feel free to contact me to answer all of your questions. My email is doc at dinastacer.com. Call or text me at 858-229-8072. I hope you've gotten great value from Turn Your San Diego Condo Balcony into Paradise. If you have any other questions about how you can turn your balcony into paradise or other real estate questions, please feel free to contact me. 
Again, there is no obligation to use my services. I'd love to be able to help you or a family member with any of your real estate needs. I am Dr. Dina, the doctor that makes house calls. 